check, check suit. the slightly less white. I'm very, I push in and post. Yeah, but you're seeing over there the edge. You're talking to me about the edge. Edge, you edge lord. Have you seen his pants? Look at his, look at his cuffs. Wow, those are long pants. 35 by 44. <laughs> it's just extra pockets. <laughs> for, for gravel? <laughs> From around campus, well, and, and tree branches, and, and paraphernalia. Oh, they never think to fruit. Search, never think to search your cuffs. That's not true. <laughs> they search your cuffs? Oh yeah. No, they don't search my cuffs. I, <laughs> they like the cut of my jib. <laughs> the air of respectability. Yes. That you lack. Is that what I lack? I'm tired. Okay. How are you tired? It's like not even lunchtime. I know. It's like, okay. It's been well, a long weekend. Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Start with that first comment. This is... I'm Daniel. This is not how we do things. I know it's not, but there's a reason for it. <laughs> David been... Hoffland. Message to Daniel and Rex. You guys have reviewed many versions of Jim Beam, but one you have never done is the plain Jim Beam white. Okay. Come on. I cannot find a review on the vault with the plain Jim Beam White. Can you guys please, please, please do a review of the plain Jim Beam White that you can find almost anywhere? I would send it in, but come on. It's Jim Beam. <laughs> Have we not done a review? Well, so we did ages ago, but it took me two hours to find it because it was a part of a series of ridiculous Mitch Weddling things. So it was in a big multi... Pile of stuff. Okay. So I thought, you know what, he's right. I mean, he's incorrect that we have reviewed it, but he's right, like, if you search for it, you're not gonna find it, and it is Jim Beam. And also, those not, aren't really full in reviews when it's multiple, right. it's like a first impression type of deal. Okay. So, okay. This is technically a gift from the Weddell, who, who achieved what would have been Titan status before there was ever a Titan status right. to achieve. No, it's... So Weddell sent this bottle it's, in. Th thanks, Mitch. Thanks, Mitch. You got me the whiskey I deserved. Thanks, Mitch. Thanks, Mitch. You got me the whiskey I deserved. Thanks, Mitch. Thanks, Mitch. You got me the whiskey I deserved. Thanks, Mitch. You got me the whiskey I deserved, and you helped my entire family. All right, so Jim Beam. Here's what we know about Jim Beam. Yes. It's Jim Beam. It's Jim Beam. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a mash bill of 77 corn. This is synonymous with. I want some Jim Beam. Classic yeah. American, old school, bourbon-y type of, yeah. 77 corn, 13 rye, 10 malted barley. So mostly corn, and it's four at least. Probably not much older than yeah. four. This is my first whiskey of the day. You know what I'm getting more in the nose than I was expecting? Hmm. A little bit of a licorice note. Really? Because I'm getting big league chew. Like a bubble gum? Yeah, like the dusty. Like when, when you pull it out, it's got the sugar dust still floating all over it. Yeah, I'm getting an herbal black licorice note on the nose. Oh, I could see what you mean by the herbal note. Herbal black licorice, though. I had some addendums that you have to buy in on or else this is all for naught. Okay. Then it's we, all or nothing. Then taste is not, in fact, an objective analysis full of science and wonder. <laughs> you deliver inspiring speeches very blindly <laughs> full of science and, and wonder, wonder. <laughs> that reminds me of the dude in princess bride marriage is what brings us together marriage. today <laughs> wav true wav <laughs> all right i'm gonna go damn it you know what i'm just gonna own it the rest of the episode right here you mean Andrew thinks? No, I can get it. Okay. I don't step so far back. You and your monkey arms? <laughs> uh, look, I've realized my, my sleeves are cuffed. My pants are cuffed. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite, I've started to show my boys this little trick. It's really freaked them out. I remember when I was young, it really is bizarre. It's like, mm -hmm. shoot, guys, my left arm's longer than my right arm. It's like, hang on. Just, ah. Oh, <laughs> you just go, ah. Shoot. <laughs> Dang it. Now it's, hang let me fix that. Ah. God damn it. <laughs> and I did that for a good couple of minutes before. That's such an uncle move. I know, before one of them thought to look at my Your upper shoulder. body. Right. <laughs> so, um, this is going to be some 
a little bit more herbal than I was thinking. Mm -hmm. The black licorice doesn't really show up on the taste, but like a thin honey. It is like sort of papery thin, slightly bland, but you no tell, real oak spice notes. You can tell it's watered down. Mostly candied sugar, corn, dust. But it's not coloring outside the lines. It's just a, it's a budget <laughs> bourbon. But, but it's, it's fine. It's a budget bourbon with the classic notes. And if you're just going yeah. for, I just want a bourbon, I don't want to think too much about it. I think most people are going to be doing this Maybe like a cocktail or on the yeah, rocks. Yeah, on the rocks. On the rocks. With a you know a ginger ale or a coke or per something. Permission to come aboard, sir. Permission granted. Okay. Um, and it's not really evolving much over time. Like it is what it is, no. and they're just kind of that that combination of flavors just kind of slowly fades off. This is like Starbucks. Like if you're looking for fancy coffee, meh. But if you're looking for like eh, decent consistency and you know exactly what you're going to get and you yeah. order it and then you get it. Consistency, yes. I think the premium that you pay for Starbucks, though. No, I don't think you pay for a premium in Japan. No, you don't. Yeah. No, they, they've priced it accordingly. Yeah, and then uh, you go back and then on the nose, the oakiness starts to reveal itself a little bit. You get used to the sweetness. You can find some wood in there. Yeah. But this is going to be a 40%. Yes, it is. I'm not really finding that wood note. You I mean, it's coming across. I know what the impact is of the wood note, which yeah. is those heavy vanillas yeah. and things like that. But actual tannin or wood spice? There's not bitterness. Like the, the thread of it's... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to specify that kind of oakiness. It's going to be kind of antique but not dusty. I'm not getting a dusty oak. I'm getting a little bit of an antique. I guess if I was comparing it to like vodka, that would be like, oh, there's some uh, darker flavors in here. But I'm not, if I really spread it around, I just, start to get this dry. I guess if I compared it to water, there's, yeah. there's flavor. Yeah, there might be flavors. <laughs> uh, there's nothing wrong with it, but there's nothing amazing about it. I think yes. it's one of these whiskey brands that probably has its place in the world of whiskey, not because it's just game changing and amazing and just wowing you at every level. Right. It's just been around forever. Yeah. And uh, to that point, I think oh, there's probably a lot of people that have like an uncle or a grandfather's like, that's my jam. I got it. That's right. Not, that's my jam, but that's my drink. <laughs> that's my jam. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> yo, yo, home slices. Uh, but they're like a Jim Beam guy or they're right. a maker's guy. This is one of those brands where when somebody identifies as that's my go-to, mm -hmm. I liked it. They're just going to keep reaching for that. But yeah. I think people that get deep into whiskey, they start looking beyond the Jim Beams of the world pretty quickly. Well, and Jim Beam, I think most people would be surprised that a lot of the fancier products coming from Beam yeah. are just Jim Beam, but different barrels, different warehouses, different blends, different proofs. right? Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, I mean, there's plenty of amazing coming out of that warehouse that's not this. Nothing wrong with it, nothing amazing about it. I think it's perfectly suitable as a good gateway whiskey. Yep. Somebody that's getting in the whiskey is like, oh, Jim Beam, I like that. What else is there? Right. And then you'll quickly start going down the rabbit hole and find that there's a bunch of funky adventures waiting for you. Joshua Brown, has there ever been a video covering what's on the feature wall minus Emma's shenanigans? She keeps putting in Lefroig. Because she's on Lefroig payroll, apparently. Yeah. It's the only thing that makes sense. <laughs> it's not that someone really likes something that doesn't make sense to you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you don't like, taint the sanctity of the quintessential wall. Just for preference. Yes. You, you neglect it. You do it for financial gain. You let it sit there unattended to for months on end. Yeah. But you don't yeah. taint it. You don't talk about with, it. With your own opinion. You start a storyline you never complete, but you don't taint it with opinions. Look, there's no deadlines. <laughs> They're just dormant. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can't find it. I realize it's rotating list of bottles on the wall at any given time. <laughs> no, it's not actually. Uh, uh, so there's some that have been locked in, uh, seeing what's on there. So the ones that are there for the most sort of placeholders, but the ones yeah. that have been locked in, I, I think th Buffalo Trace. I think Jameson. Jameson. Uh, um, I think Red Breast. I don't 12? know. I think it's Red Breast Twelve. It might have been Lagavulin. No, I think we did classic Irish Red Breast. And then was it Lagavulin? Well, then why would Jameson be up there? Well, we have, wait a minute, which is it? Is it Jameson or is it Redbreast? He's a two Which was the I, placeholder? I don't know. We don't know which is the placeholder. Well, it's been so long, Rex. I mean, we can go back and look at the episode. Well, here's the, the issue is, um, 
list episodes. Mm -hmm. You don't want to do too many list episodes. Back then you just become a list channel. Yeah, and that's yeah. really easy to do. How long has it been since we've done one? Uh, I mean, we could probably do. Um, it's been about a month ish, I think. I think that we did before Christmas. There was um, the. It gift, wasn't for this, but there was a list. The the uh, gift worthy. Yeah, list. that's we right. We did the whole week of here's right. the things that I want people. To so yeah, it's been about a month. That a month. Sorry, oh, probably do another one. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Never, never. I, I guess. It's fine. It's fine. 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 Any final words for the Jimmy? Nah. Yeah. Nah. But I'll, I'll say this though. Thanks, Mitch. I will say this. Every time I've gone back, you the nose, and then you get the taste in you. You get mm -hmm. it in you, and then you yeah. go back. It does present a different note every single time. Because I just went back to the nose after a couple of tastes, and now I'm getting like a brown sugar. I'll tell you another thing. So. I keep going back to it without hesitation. Yeah. Like, I'm not looking forward to excited about it, but as we're hanging out, sure. I keep picking it up and taking a sip because it's just, yeah, that's just good. It's perfectly serviceable. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, that's the RP. Yeah. 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 Here's the fun. Steal me and drink. If you fight me, a fight for a friend. You steal, may you steal your lips. And if you drink, may you drink with us.